Using the jumbo tracer, I'm going to trace out this 10 foot by 40 inch beam duck boat. I'll be using a full size plan here. First thing we'll do here is select the alignment points. Selecting the alignment points enable us to move the diagram to the left or right, just in case we have to trace something over that null spot between the boards. All that's involved here is touching the spot there just before the plan on the left, which is the four section, and then touching the spot just behind the back of the boat, which is the aft section, just that spot there behind the plan. That completes the alignment. Now to trace out the bottom of the boat, we're just going to select the arc command. And that command involves three points. This is quite amazing because the plan, it's a full size plan, it's 10 feet long, and I'm tracing out the arc of the bottom part of the plan in three touches. Then we'll select the line command, and then again we'll select the arc command to do the other side of the boat bottom, and continue on right to the end of the boat. This is an easy trace because when you use the arc command, you only need three points. So three points plus the line command, three points across the top, you're done. Then I'll save this file as the boat bottom. Now to show you how I did that using the actual plan there, you can see I'm touching the first point, then I touch the midpoint, and then I touch the last point. So that's three points. And then for that straight section, I'm going to use the line command, and then again I'll carry on with the arc command, touching three spots, the mid one there again, and the end point. And that's it. That traces out the boat bottom. Now we're going to trace out frame number one. First thing we'll do on frame one here is select the four points, which will define our diagram. And after I've selected those four points and inputted them, I'll start to do my tracing by selecting the line command. I'll use the line command for the whole frame one trace out. I also trace out the fillets where the string is attached to the frame. It gives it a bit of a glue relief. And again, when I'm finished, I'll create the frame one file. You can see here I'm selecting those four points on the paper plan. And then I've selected the line command to trace the perimeter of the frame one. I also used a line command to trace out the frame one internal part there, the rectangular part. Now we're going to trace out the molding frame. Here I'm going to select the four point command and that's going to define my workspace. Then I'm going to select the line command and that's what I'm going to trace the perimeter of the molding frame. The molding frame is a frame that you use while you're building the boat and then you remove it after the sides and bottom are on. And I'm going to save this molding frame. Now to show you on the plan, you can see where I'm selecting those four points on the diagram. And also you can see where I've selected the line command and I'm tracing around those fillets and completing the tracing of the molding frame. Now we're going to trace the outer bow. Again, I'll be selecting the four points to define my work area. This diagram is going to be a bit different. I'm going to select curve fit for that round part, and then I'll select the line command for the rest. Then I'll be selecting the circle command, the three point circle command for those small circles. I'll check the diameter, and that's it for two circles. So here on the paper diagram, you can see where I've selected that curve fit around that round part. And then I went back to the line command for the straight parts. 
and shown on the paper diagram you can see where I'm tracing out those circles using the three-point circle command. Now we'll trace out the stem. Again we'll define the four points of the diagram to define our workspace. Then I'll select the line command to do the straight sections and then I'll select the trace command to do that curve section. And again use the three point circle command for those small circles. And save my work. Here on the paper copy you can see where I'm using the line command for the straight sections and then as I come up to that curve part I'm using the trace command. And again, I'll be using the circle command. What's neat about the circle command is it echoes back the diameter. It gives you a chance to check it, OK it, or change it. Now I'm going to show some of the CNC cutting. So the first part here is we're going to be cutting the bottom halves. So there'll be two cuts. There's a left and a right to the bottom. Here you can see I'm cutting that stem frame. You also get a glimpse of some of the frames that are already cut. And the knee frame is cut. And that's the outer bow piece being cut there right now. It's a good picture there of all the frames cut. Here I'm starting the assembly of the frames with the stringers. Shows the side being applied. Here I've sheeted the bottom with quarter inch plywood panels. This is a good picture of the interior of the boat. That's a good shot of the duck boat end to end. Another picture of the side. Again a good shot of the whole boat. Sides applied, bottom applied and the decking. The customer picked up the boat and painted it up. Looks good. They sent me back a test video of him paddling around with the duck boat. The only thing missing is paddling into the sunset. I enjoyed this project and it was a good use for the jumbo drawing boards.